back with more of the American Dream. This time we're talking coffee and real estate. I've got two really special guests with me. I've got Marie Boatsman. She's a broker and realtor with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. She's brought on with her Ryan Hawkins. He's a franchise owner and he owns five Dutch Bros stands. Marie and Ryan, thanks so much for being here with us. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you. Of course. So Marie, we love having you on the show and we always talk about real estate. This time I want to know, why are you bringing your coffee guy on the real estate show? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I probably wouldn't survive the real estate market right now without coffee. So, True. you know, that that is why. But, you know, and all joking aside, um, Dutch Brothers has an incredible impact on the communities that their stands are oh, are located in. So I really wanted to bring them on to just talk a little bit about that. I mean, they're so um, they're so engulfed in the community. They give back so much, and they just have such a great presence. And I always joke to my clients that if you live within a certain distance of a Dutch Bros stand, that your real estate value just increased. So. <laughs> Truth, so did your energy levels. I love that, and I love that they've got such a good reputation. Now, Ryan, how did you get involved in Dutch Bros, and how did you decide on which locations to open your stands in? Well, the company was founded in my hometown of Grants Pass, and so I was familiar with it, and I kind of got to know the brothers that started the company. And as I was kind of doing some other things, I always just knew it was a company I wanted to be a part of. And so when they started kind of um, franchising and said they'd give me the opportunity, I was kind of looking around in the Portland, you know, Beaverton area, and then um, Newburgh and Sherwood came about. And it was just, they were such cool, small knit communities that I was just excited to kind of dive in and uh, represent the brand in those areas. And they've really grown over the last few years. And although I'm no real estate expert, um, I think Marie can probably comment a little bit more on that growth and how things have taken off in that area. Yeah, I mean, the growth in the areas that your stands are, and it's been incredible. Um, Newburgh, for example, you know, just three years ago, the average price per square foot there was about $180. Currently, it's about $230, so that's substantial growth in the price per square foot value over three years. Sherwood, I mean, we've seen about an 8.5% population growth in the last 10 years, and that's caused, obviously, you know, more businesses to come in, bigger infrastructure, and we have a brand new high school being built that's um, slated to open in 2020 in Sherwood. And then your newest stand, which is really right in the heart of just a sea of new construction homes, is off of Barrows and Shoals and kind of the Tiger Beaverton location. And I mean, between River Terrace and um, South Cooper Mountain Heights, I mean, I think there's going to be over 3,000 homes coming there. So you chose a great spot just being centrally located in a new community that's very desirable. Yeah, it sounds like you're the perfect fit for a really good company. Now, I heard that Dutch Bros was recently featured in Forbes, which is huge. Could you tell me about that article and what do you think the future of Dutch Bros looks like? Um, well, yeah, we were featured in uh, Forbes. We have just teamed up with a uh, investment company to um, hopefully kind of take us to the next level in growth. We currently have over 300 locations in seven states, 9,000 employees company wide. And this company, which is TSG, um, they're going to help us kind of get to the next level in growth. And um, they've got a lot of great resources and um, experiences that will kind of help Dutch Brothers kind of get to that next level. And so uh, we're hoping to grow um, anywhere from four to 500 locations in the next five years with their help and leadership. So, um, I mean, we're still going to be uh, the same company with a high priority on culture and all of that, but we're really excited about it. And um, I think it's gonna be a great opportunity for us to kind of grow to the next level. That's huge, four to 500 locations is a huge future. And that's really, really cool. Cause it sounds like you guys are really established in the community. Now, Marie, you are one who knows how important it is to establish yourself in the community as a realtor. How do you think Dutch Bros was able to do that in your community? Yeah, you know, I think um, I think there's a you know many reasons, but I think one of the biggest reasons is just how how much they give back to the community and how involved they are. Um, Ryan, Ryan, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, you know some of the events that you do for your stands and that the company does as well? Yeah, I mean, one of the biggest things Dutch Brothers is all about is you know giving back to the communities we're in, and we get phenomenal support from our customers day in and day out. And so being able to use our locations as an outlet to be involved in the community and give back is awesome. It's one of the things I love about our company the most. 
And, um, you know, we do four major um, give backs a year, and those are company wide. Um, one of the biggest ones is our MDA Day, which is um, where we support ALS. Um, this last year alone, we did 1.3 million in, um, in uh, donations for that. So that was awesome. I think we're, we've raised over 4 million now that we've given to MDA because of that day. Uh, we just had our buck for kids the end of September, which was cool. We gave a dollar back from every drink um, sold that day, which um, raised close to 430,000 company wide for uh, a lot of little local community things. So those are some of the big, uh, the little ones. Uh, right now, we're kind of in the middle of our breast cancer awareness month, where we're um, hopefully trying to raise awareness, but also money. We have our own Dutch Brothers Hydro Flask mug that we're um, we've got labeled and $10 from every one of those mugs goes to um, some local cancer um, research places. So it's just exciting. We're always involved. We've teamed up with Marie on a lot of different things and um, and stuff like that. So it's uh, it's fun to be a part of the communities we're in. And it's one of the things I love about Dutch Bros the most. Yeah, we have an event actually coming up that um, should be really fun. It'll be in the next few weeks. Um, we're going to do a couple hour block during one of the busy rush morning periods. And a dollar from every drink is going to be given back to a charity. I'll be there. Ryan will be there. He might even teach me how to make a latte, which should be interesting. And um, just stay tuned for a little more information on that and the date, time, and how we're going to choose a charity. It's going to be fun. Wow. It sounds like a great time. And Marie, I have total faith in your latte making abilities. Yeah. And Ryan, it was <laughs> super cool to hear about that, just knowing how much you've given back. I mean, that's no small number, the $4 million that you guys have given back as a company. I mean, that's huge. And it's really cool to hear how you're making an impact in the community and just these, you know, really hard things that people go through. So thank you for making a difference. And Marie, thank you for bringing Ryan, Ryan on the show. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Of course. Thanks so much for watching The American Dream. We'll be right back with more.